Hey, I'm back. The tape had went out. You guys saw that. And uh, I guess it needed to because uh, I was getting ready to just go on a tangent. And I needed, I knew I needed to pull back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, y'all, listen, I love my baby. But when I tell you that, oh, my God, I got me a real one, that motherfucker like, I love you, shit. And I ain't going for you playing on my goddamn emotion. I like, nigga, if you don't knock it off, stop it, okay? Stop it. Stop putting me with all these motherfuckers that you just m mysteriously, okay, didn't I see you looking at that dude over there? I was like, oh my God, for real? I ain't thinking about this or whoever that was at the uh, motherfucking pumping gas. I ain't looking at that motherfucker. But this one, oh my God. Baby, were you looking at, uh, uh, what, nigga, I was trying to, I was on that chicken, nigga. That's what I was on. I was on that motherfucking chicken, honey kettle. I wasn't on whoever just walked out the door, you know, or whatever, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I got me one of them, y'all. He be looking at me, he be cutting me close. He be looking at, he be looking at me saying if I'm looking at somebody else, I guess, you know what I mean? I'm like, why? Wow, because then I'll come back and hear about that shit later on. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Wasn't you looking at? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> but it's so much love between us, though. Because you fuck with him, you fuck with me. You fuck with me, you fuck with him. It's just like that. I mean, we. this is this is just, I mean, it's cool as shit. It's something I've never, uh, well, I won't say never. Because, of course, with any new relationship, it's like, oh, my God. You know what? I ain't never felt this right here before. This is some new shit. No, nah, nigga, it was the same shit that you got the last time on the last motherfucker that you met. Okay? It's just the fact that this is some new shit right now. That ain't got shit to do with the fact that this is some shit you ain't never had before. Because the last nigga you met was a bomb-ass nigga, too. So quit playing with me. Okay? I had to, I had to have these talks with myself from time to time. Yeah, I do. I got to have these talks to my motherfucking self from time to time. Be like, nigga, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Stop it. Okay? Stop. <laughs> but nah, but for real, on some serious 100 shit, though, that is all me. You know what I mean? And we just cool like that. I mean, our vibe is like on a whole different, on some other shit. You know? And, uh, you know, I'm, we, I'm just enjoying where I'm at. I'm enjoying... What we got going on right now, giving it the time that it need, you know, trying to be understanding and still trying to keep some communication going on some of this other shit, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm going to need you to calm down on all that. You know, that's what I'm going to need. Let me just go and say that part. That's what I'm going to need, okay? So, anyway, so yeah, we was on the Steve Wilco uh, show, cutting the fuck up in my dream. I was like, Ooh. Why? Because he got the same motherfucking personality I got. We both. And we be playing spades and be talking so much shit at night to one another. Oh, my God. It would be so much fun. And we be blue back, too. So when you blue back and you talking shit, oh, my God. It would be so much goddamn fun. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One day we were sitting up talking so much shit. And I was like, wait a minute. And I'm already, nigga, I was already on some Pluto. And I was like, wait a minute, I see a light over there. What the fuck? That motherfucker had a camera in the corner. It had me tripping the fuck out. Because I was like, wait a minute, I see a light. A blue light. I know I ain't motherfucking tripping. I see a light, y'all. Do y'all know that motherfucker had a camera rolling? Yeah. Trip me the fuck out. I'm telling secrets, but fuck it. That motherfucker had a camera roll. He was like, well, you got cameras in your house? I was like, well, yeah. Well, shit, I didn't know that shit now. God damn. I was like, oh, shit, because we talking shit. I mean, we in the midst of a, of a motherfucking card game. Nigga, we be playing spades all the time. So that's our shit. We play spades and have, a, uh, you know, our grub right there. And, you know what I'm saying, about a few of them uh, twisted up right there. And, you know what I mean, and, nigga, we be on what we be on. You know what I mean, having a little sip or something. And we be on some straight chill status. But on this motherfucking night, I was like, wait one goddamn minute. Now, I remember, now, you know, because I'm there all the time, you know, when he's gone or whatever, and I ain't never really paid no motherfucking attention, but this motherfucking time, we sitting up here playing goddamn spade, and I see this motherfucking blue light trip me the fuck out. He was like, don't you got I was like, what the fuck could I say at that point in time? What the fuck could I say? 
But it's like now at this at this stage of the game, I'm like, damn, motherfuckers, you watching me? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I can't even call it, y'all. That got me tripping. So, um, but yeah, so that's what's going on in my uh what you call it and yeah. Um, but y'all, the summertime is coming up, man. I'm so excited, you know. I just feel so good. My daughter's going to be graduating. You know, she's going off to college. Can y'all believe that shit? I mean, can y'all believe that shit? I mean, it's been seven years on this motherfucking platform. And now here, Tiana graduated from school. Yesterday, um, I had took her. She had got her hair braided, so I dropped her off at her braider. I dropped Button off at his barber. Yes, and I dropped Anthony off at work. Y'all, he, yeah, he's still tripping on this driving thing. I think this nigga like shit. Fuck it, I don't really want to do this full time. Because if I do it full time, I'm going to have me doing all kind of shit. I don't know. Because this motherfucker, he, he don't want to do it. He likes shit. I don't know. And I really think that that's what it is. So I'm just going to leave that right there. Because I think he just feel like if I be driving full time, then therefore, you know, mama got some responsibilities for me. I'm cool as long as... You know, if everybody else is going that way, I go that way, or I do Uber or whatever. And he cool with that. So, but nah. <clears throat> but yeah. But Tioni's graduating from high school, and wow. You know, um, so Tony gonna be coming to uh, come to the graduation and all that kind of stuff. And so it's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah. So she got the prom next month. Uh, April something of and so, uh, so yeah, so I got shit going on, family. I ain't fucking around, you know what I'm saying? My baby got a job, you know what I'm saying? He And as a matter of fact, he got a job at the water park, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's real cool. And, um, they had their, uh, job fair here, uh, last weekend. And he went and got the motherfucking job. I'm, like, tripping. Yeah. And he went with some more of his friends, you know, football players and shit. And they all just went up there and was like, well, y'all, let's go up there. They're having a job for it. Let's go see who's going to get the job. Do you know this 15? This 15-year-old motherfucker got the job. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just, I was just overjoyed. I was like, man. So, yesterday, he went and got a haircut. Then I took that nigga to Ross. He likes Ross. And so, I sat out in the car while he went and done his thing. And then Tioni called and said, Mom, I'm ready. So I goes in the store and tell him, okay, well, while you trying on and doing what you're doing, I'm going to go get pick up Tioni and then me and her will be back to come get you. And so uh, still, my baby, though, where you at now? What you doing now? Oh, okay, baby, I'm over here getting ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Go pick up Tioni. This so, you know, in the midst of me doing all this, too, I'm communicating with him, you know. And so yesterday was a long motherfucking day for me. Oh, my God, yesterday was a long-ass day for me. It was a long one. But, yeah, he went down there and got that motherfucking job. I'm just like, wow. So, um, I got to work on getting his work permit. Um, and uh, he's having some kind of uh, safety. They got a safety class and some kind of certified, you know, I guess, stage one or whatever, lifeguarding or something shit he got to take. So he got a few little things, little classes or whatever that he got to take until, you know, the summertime come when he's doing this right here. So that's what's up with that. So he's going to be doing that. Um, Tioni's working. And she's also, of course, in the 12th grade. She goes to school a half a day. She doesn't have a first period. She doesn't have a sixth period. So she goes, like, just in midday of school. And um, she's just taking pretty much electives. I think I think she have an English class. I think. But the rest of her stuff is because she has a debate. Um, she also has, um, she likes uh, law. And that's where she's trying to go with things. So she has another class that they do like, uh, you know, they take on like these cases and stuff. And I think that's, her, I don't know if that's the debate class or it's a different class. Criminal justice or something she's taking. But she's taking a lot of electives. And so, I mean, she's really coming into her own. She 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 likes dudes and she's into them and shit. But, you know, she's also into, Mama, I'm ready to go to college and get my, you know, get my thing together. 
So I'm really excited about that with my daughter. I was letting her know that, you know what, check this out. You always got a home. Don't let these niggas ever tell you you got to go home. Or don't ever let these niggas tell you you feel like you out and you put out. Because now you always got a home. When I'm dead and gone, this your shit right here. Do whatever as you will. Get you another sign of that motherfucker right there. Be outdated. Just change that motherfucker out. But it's part of the insurance. So hell, fuck it. Uh, go ahead on. When it's time to get another one, it's a $500 deductible. Go ahead on. Change that sign out and get you another one. You know what I mean? So she already know what the get down is. You know what I'm saying? Mama has provided and made sure that my daughter, regardless to whatever she do in this motherfucking life, Guess what? She has a house over here that she can do as she shall please. I don't I don't already present it to canvas. It needs work, it needs shit done to it, whatever, but this is mine, no, and I ain't paying but five hundred and something a month. Okay, so let's get that understood. Okay? In California. Okay? Yeah. So and I own this. So, but uh um by the time God get, go ahead on and take me away from here. I'd like to at least get her principal down to about 40000 You know what I'm saying? So I'm just doing it in the increments, just stepping it down. Now I'm around 83000 on what I owe on this house right now. I could, should I pay it all the way off? No, because it's a good tax write-off for me. As long as I got this and I can use it as business and this and this and this. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know. And so, but, you know, my, my daughter ain't never got to worry about no nigga telling her she got to go, get the fuck out. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, partner. I got a home, nigga. Uh, no. Nah. Now, you telling me to leave from here? Okay, it's no problem on that. But I got a home now. Don't don't get it misunderstood to where my motherfucking ass about to be homeless, because that's not about to happen. My mama has provided. So, nah, that ain't gonna happen, you know. And so that's where I'm at. I'm trying to make sure that my kids is cool and set up to where when I'm gone from this motherfucker, they already know they got some cool ass work ethics. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the, you already know about mine. Okay, I done already said it on so many videos before on how I raised mine. And they very motherfucking respectable, presentable, integrity intact. Yeah. Now they probably do some file and wild some okie doke ass shit away from me or whatever. I'm I'm certain they do. But, you know what I'm saying, the proof is in the motherfucking pudding. They ain't out here bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't out here doing that. That's what they not doing. So, yeah, so she's getting ready to graduate from high school and all that kind of stuff. Anthony is, you know, full-time. He's still down there, you know what I'm saying, at the, at the post office. And, man, I can't, I can't complain, you know. And I'm just sitting here. Now all three of my kids is working. And, you know, uh, it's like, man, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's hella motherfucking cool. You know, minimum wage going to be 15 motherfucking dollars an hour. You know what I mean? And, like, right now, I think minimum wage is like $11 an hour here. And so it's like, wow, you know, my son, he, and he's going to be going to the 11th grade. This is his first job. So yesterday when we was on our way to the barbershop, I was like, son, now you get to buy them the bronze and all that other shit that you want. You can buy that shit yourself. You know what I'm saying? You already know, because he already wears a size 16 and a half shoe. Let's get that understood, okay? So, his shit, you got to contact them motherfuckers direct on him. Okay, okay, well, we like to get a special order on these ones right here, yeah. That's going to be an extra 40, okay, on some, okay? Yeah, I know the steps. But, uh, so now that he, uh, <clears throat> now that He's working and everything. He's going into the 11th grade and getting his own shit. However way he want to get down for school. And however way he want to rock his shit. I didn't know I would told him, though, no, we ain't doing earrings and tattooing and all. We ain't doing that. He was like, no, nah, well, mama, I don't, nah, I'm cool on that right there. Mama, no, nah, no, nah, I, well, I ain't one of them. You know what I'm saying? So he, he cool on the getting his ears pierced and shit. Which, uh, it's all right with me. If he cool with it, I'm cool with it. You know what I mean? And so, damn it, and Tiony will be 18, so shit, I ain't got one more, one more motherfucking dependent, huh? That being nigga, I can fly like a motherfucking eagle. I can go do as I will. I can come back when I want to. God damn, huh? Oh, my God. Y'all don't understand that shit. That's why I'm saying, y'all, hey, look here. Uh, have y'all babies and get that shit over with. Okay, so when you become my motherfucking age and you're going to lay down all these different foundations and um, instill some good values and shit into your children. So then therefore, when you get in your 40s like me, 
The near for nigga, you just kicking it like, okay, well, you already know what you got to do. We done done this for how many years, man? You already know. Attendance is important. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you got to be there. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are expecting you to be there, goddamn it. You got to be there, okay? So, you know, once you instill those type of values into your children when they're little bitty kids, you know what I'm saying? Make make a motherfucking, uh, uh, make song and dances out of shit to get them responsible. Clean up, clean up, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, um, I instilled some shit in there from toddlers, from babies. And now that I'm getting older, shit, they coming here, she's coming to see about me already. Mama, um, I don't take you up there to go get you something to eat. I want you to eat something different today. Mama, you all right back there? Mama, you know what I'm saying? They be looking out. You know what I mean? So, shit. This is where the fuck I'm going to be at. Right on through this motherfucking 900 right here. This 900 square feet, 900, 900 plus right here. This is my own little spot right here. I roam all through this motherfucker. They do they thing up there. I got my refrigerator and all my shit right here. I got my motherfucking uh, agriculture shit going on outside my door. Nigga, I'm cool. I got my TV and all this right here. My office and my sign and all that. Man, I'm cool. Ain't nobody in nobody motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? All I ask is that we be keep this motherfucking shit respectful around this motherfucker. Because I'm the one that's grown in this motherfucker. And I'm the mama. So ain't not now motherfucking somebody getting ready to come out your goddamn door. Not in my house, you can't. That's going to be a no on that. I'm going to tell you that right the fuck right now. No, 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 no. Ain't no nigga staying tonight. Ain't no girlfriend staying tonight. We ain't doing that old type of shit. No, I'm the mama, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be clear on that. No, we not doing that. We ain't blowing back together. We ain't gonna sit at the bar up there and have a drink together. No, we ain't doing none of that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I am the mama and I and I am going to be respected. Now, like last night, I went up there in the front. They had their partners all up there, nigga. They had the motherfucking recliners vibrating and pulled all the way out. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers video gaming and watching YouTube on a good disc right here. And, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, they in there and cook chili dogs and, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, drinking what's her name and you know they some punch. Let me go, let me not say what's her name. Let me be clear on that shit. They had made them some little punch and shit because I buy punch concentrate. Y'all already know that. Them motherfuckers had punch concentrate going and shit and shit. They was chilling out the game. You know what I mean? And all I say is as long as we keep this shit respectful. We got to keep this shit respectful. Y'all can have y'all partners come over. Y'all can parlay, kick it and all that old type of shit. But I don't kick it with kids. I don't kick it with kids. I don't keep key and none of that old type of shit with kids. I keep it pushing. I come in and make sure everything is cool. I watch my cameras to see what's happening. But oh, everything cool. And then I mind my own business. I dip on where I'm at. I'm right here. I'm still in the house, but I'm back here in my motherfucking get down. You know what I'm saying? And it's that's what it is. So if I live this way the rest of my motherfucking life, then guess what? This is what it is. I'm chilling. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm out the motherfucking way. I ain't fucking with nobody. I don't owe nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody come say, what? where that money you owe me? Nah, bitch, get on out of my face with that bullshit. Get on out of my face with that bullshit. You're clowning now. Now you're showing out. You know what I mean? Nah. Mm -mm. I don't fuck with people like that. I ain't stealing from nobody, taking from nobody, not hooking and crooked. I'm cool. Auntie straight. I'm just sitting up here watching what be going on on this motherfucking news and what the fuck Russian them got going. You see one of these motherfuckers, the same motherfucker that was talking uh, to um, everybody last week on the 20th. That motherfucker's talking about if I go ahead on and tell the truth about this right here, can y'all motherfuckers give me, you know what I'm saying, what you call it, that y'all ain't gonna come after my ass? I saw that shit breaking news, motherfucking this morning. It was uh, that motherfucker now ready to go ahead on and say what really happened. I was like, oh wow. So I'm just saying now, what's gonna happen? Is all this shit gonna the whole Republican Party, this whole thing gonna be a squash, and they gonna Hillary and them gonna move in the house? I'm just wondering what's happening. What's getting ready to happen? What's about to take place? Because 45, I'm sick of this motherfucker. Okay, I'm just gonna let me just go and say that part right now. What's up? It's, since since we talking about this bullshit, what's happening on DC with all these young ladies being missing? Let's 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 talk about this shit, cause this shit right here, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker wanna fuck with Meals on Wheels and all this kind of shit and border and putting all this bullshit up and, and t fucking up the 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 um the uh the 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 
you know, the energy and all this kind of shit. He done signed some more shit. And declaration to, to fuck with, you know, motherfuckers, I guess, with these solar panels and all this, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this motherfucker is tripping. So it's like, okay, I guess all this shit is just going to have to be overturned, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but this motherfucker is straight up tripping. And I'm like, oh, my God. I am so happy that, you know, I've been taking my motherfucking money and trying to be responsible with mine. And putting it where the fuck I need to put it. Because I didn't know who the fuck was going to be in office. Really didn't care. You know what I'm saying? I was just really hoping that it would be a woman to give it some diversity. You know, keep that going. You know what I'm saying? We're, a lot of us are very conscientious. You know? So, I'm like, wow. Okay, we get a woman in here. Shit. That nigga, we ain't doing nothing but bringing Bill back. That's who she sleep with. That's her, you know what I'm saying? Her end of the day. Shit. The decisions is going to be made accurately. Understand that. You know, but motherfuckers didn't really want to see no woman in there, I guess. Or probably did, but now that, that Russia done came in with this twist, man, it, nigga, I don't know what the fuck. I'm just tripping. I'm like, wow, every day is something else. So I'm like, whoa. But after this right here, we about to see what's about to happen, you know. I mean, it just took the wind out of my motherfucking cell when, I, when, 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 when uh, the election came and motherfucking states was, I'm like, y'all voted for this motherfucker? I mean, it really had me, I was perplexed. I was like, wow, is racism really going on like that? And I really, you know, motherfuckers be like, Tina, it's racism everywhere. You, you mean to tell me? Well, I'm in the house. You understand what I'm saying? You got to understand. I'm not on no job every day. So I'm not seeing how motherfuckers is tripping. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm, you know, I don't punch a clock like that. So you have to understand from my viewpoint, I'm going by the motherfucking news, Okay. My life is going to the motherfucking fish market, going to the motherfucking gym, taking care of my motherfucking kids, entertaining y'all, and that is what the fuck I do. Okay? This is my motherfucking life. And, and, and going to Los Angeles, being with my motherfucking man, him coming this way, spending time with me, that is my life. You know what I'm saying? I, I sleep very well at night. I don't have no strong stressors like, oh my God, I gotta move next month. Oh my God, I gotta buy a home. Oh my God, I need to you know, um, get some insurance or, oh my God, I, I got to, um, uh, buy a new car. You know, my car went out, you know, Father God, I thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? Because this is the reality of a lot of people and I'm not making light because I've been in all those places. I didn't, I didn't jump from all of that and this is where I am today. So I'm just talking in grace and being grateful, you know, on what God can really do because I've been a motherfucker that and Man, I have had and have not and trying to get back and all kind of old shit. Okay, so please understand that I ain't making light and fun of no motherfucking body. I ain't that one right there. Fuck that. He does give it and he does take it away. So if you can be boastful and be on some bullshit if you want to, and that motherfucker gonna come in and gonna take your ass two or three motherfucking stages back. So nah, I'm not doing that. So I know motherfuckers tend to get mad. A lot of people don't like to see other people happy. A lot of people like to hear a lot of strife and bullshit in your relationships. And, oh, that shit ain't gonna work. Oh, this, 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 this. Oh, uh, that bitch still look the same. Well, enjoy your life. This is my path. Okay? I'm, I just choose to share it with y'all. Ain't nobody motherfucking business. No way. Okay? This is just my path. I chose to be a life caster. This is what I do. I enjoy it. My hope is that I can give somebody, some form of an aha moment, enlightenment or something to help them get up and get over what their reality is right now to help them change their mind on some decisions. Make them think a little bit. You know what? Guess what? Wow, that was smart. I'm going to look into that. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about doing it that way. I might do that. You know what I'm saying? She funny as fuck, cuss a whole lot, but goddamn, she makes some sense on some of the things she said. When that motherfucker said, you put this bag in the sink, the, the, all of your trash, and after you get done, you just tie the bag up and put it in the trash, man, that made sense. Man, when that motherfucker was talking about color-coding the kids, and her daughter had, everything was purple, her laundry basket, her towels and everything, toothbrushes and everything, everybody's color-coded. Tiona got purple, Anthony had green, Isaiah had blue, and that's what it was. So if I saw a towel in a den, and I'm like, uh, Isaiah, come get your shit, partner. You know what I'm saying? If shit was out of place, I knew what it was based on the color. You know? But, you know, I've been sharing these things on this platform for seven years. Seven. I can't believe it. I'm tripping out like a motherfucker like you. 
I'm tripping. You know, and I'm just elated that, you know, they allowed me, crazy motherfucker, to come on here and just do what I do. And I just thank God for putting me in such a place and making things come and move around in my life and make allow me to live comfortably. It's God's grace. You know what I'm saying? It's favor. Sometimes it isn't fair. But the thing is, this is what's in my path. You know what I mean? And your path is full of peaks and valleys. You're going to be up sometimes, you're going to be down. That's just the way of life. You know what I'm saying? You can't always grow in comfort. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, you go through some shit, then it, the road levels out. Then you're going to have some of these, you're going to have some of these, some of these, some of these and some of these. It's going to go down, and it's going to come back up, and it's going to level out. And some of these, That's just the way our paths go to get us to where we got to go. You know what I'm saying? All this shit's already written. We just ride, we're just riding it out. That's why it's called a path. You just riding it out. It's already been determined on where the fuck you gonna go, who you gonna be, and all this kind of stuff. But based on your decisions, it's how you gonna be once you get there. Okay? So, listen. I ask that you stay razor sharp. Yeah, auntie puts one up and all that old type of shit. Yeah, I do that. I'm a 420 motherfucking hippie ass knuckle. I'm that. I'm, I'm 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 every bit of that. I'm I'm that. I wear the shirt. All that old type of shit. That motherfucker. I'm her. Okay. But I ain't fucking with nobody. I'm taking care of my kids. It's obvious they doing what they supposed to do. God is taking care of me and providing. I ain't lying to nobody. I ain't trying to get over nobody. I ain't fucking up nobody. I ain't fucking with nobody. You know what I mean? So what it is? It is what it is. So. Um, I do want to do a video a day in May. We're going to go back to that. April, I want to be more consistent on doing a few videos out of the week. I need you guys to help me on that. Um, if you guys, um, have any suggestions that you guys want to talk about certain things, um, onesexatina at gmail.com. Hit me up on email, no problem. Um, if you got some suggestions, you want to donate to the motherfucking channel, onesexatina.com. You know what I'm saying? sexytina at gmail is the email. Let me know. Hit me up on that. Let me know whatever. Um, if you want me to uh, model your shit and rock your shit or whatever the case, you want me to, you know what I'm saying, do a, a promotion of your get down, hit me up on my motherfucking gmail, onesexytina at gmail.com. Let me know what's happening. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm open, you know, but... You know, I don't want to be paying for all my shit all the time like I've been doing, though. For seven motherfucking years, nigga, can you realize all these motherfucking Zerona treatments and all this motherfucking this, 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 and breast this, and that, and this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and I've been paying this shit in cash, me. Okay? Now, I want to go get, get some other motherfucking shit, some vaginal rejuvenation and all that old type of shit, but nigga, hey, can we get a, uh, what is that? Uh, pay me as you go. What is it called? Pay me? No. Fund me. That shit there? Oh, yeah. Y'all want to see how, how all this motherfucking shit go? Yeah, let's get this cracking, but uh, let's do this right here, too. You know what I'm saying? And then, therefore, y'all going to pay half, and I'm going to pay half of this motherfucking. We're going to keep this motherfucking party rolling. You want, you want me to go to motherfucking Bangkok? Nigga, let's go. Shit. Huh? No problem. Shit. Uh, PayPal this right here, and, and, nigga. Uh, I'm on the way. You know what I'm saying? I got to have a plus one because I don't know what you're going to do to me. Let me just go and say that part right there. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do to me when I get there. But your motherfucking ass having a family reunion in St. Louis and you want me to come, nigga, uh, one sexy Tina at Gmail. Send me a motherfucking email and let me know. Okay, look, check this out. My cousin work for United. She going to get the plane tickets. Okay, you got one plus one? Okay, no problem then. Okay, and you going to come through and, huh? You scared the shit out of me, boy. 